Picking your character at the beginning of the game is one of the most important parts of any CRPG. Your character will define your path, story, and how you're able to react to the world around you. Baldur's Gate 3 has different options for starting characters. You can either become your own hero, or take on the role of an origin character. Origin characters have a preset physical appearance, class, stats, and personality. While you will be able to control your dialogue, these characters have set intentions and skills. Whether you decide to play a pre-made character or start from scratch is up to you. There are seven origin characters to choose from as you start a new game. They will come with their own class, but you can select their subclass and as they level up within the game, you can choose certain spells and skills for them. While starting out as an origin character, you will get a special introduction at the beginning of the game that will showcase that character's backstory prior to the shipwrecking. If you are a custom character, then you must learn about these companion stories by getting them to trust you instead. If you start out as an origin companion, then you already know their story and can delve deeper than you would if you were an outsider. Your race and class allow you to have unique dialogue options as you play the game. These dialogue options could greatly benefit your ability to progress within certain events. For example, during the tutorial when you encounter Shadowheart and she's trapped in her pod, there are a few different ways you can free her. If you're playing as a barbarian and you can pass a strength check, then you can use that raw strength to rip the pod open and free her. Another way is if you're playing as one of the more magically inclined classes such as a warlock. Instead of relying on raw strength like the barbarian, you can identify the wards that are keeping the pod shut and then use this knowledge to open it up and free Shadowheart. All of the origin characters have their own physical appearance and class, except the Dark Urge. The Dark Urge is a unique origin character, and the only origin that lets you customise your character completely. You can choose your own race, class and skills. What makes this origin unique is your dialogue options. Similar to the Illithid powers you obtain from the Nautiloid Worm inside your brain, the Dark Urge is something inside you that needs to do evil and this urge will come up as dialogue choices. You will have no memory of your past and feel happy and excited around blood and death. If you give in to this urge, you could end up killing an important character. This origin story is meant to be a twisted Baldur's Gate free experience. The dark urge will sometimes push you to kill without your consent. Even if you choose this origin character, you do not have to give in to or agree with the evil things it wants you to do. Your choices are still your own to make, but you will be experiencing things in the game differently as you try to fight it. If you choose to make your own character from scratch, then you get to handpick your skills and your story. The plus side is that you get to play around with the character creator screen and all of its hundred skin tones and mythical races. If you decide to make your own custom character, you will still have access to all of the origin characters minus the Dark Urge. And creating a custom character is a great way to balance out your team by selecting a race and class that no companions have. Gaining the companion's trust and approval will allow you to delve into their personal story and side quests. It will just take longer to find out their story than if you were playing as them. You can also control your companions by selecting their icons while they're in the party with you. You can walk around as them and talk to people as them. Because of this, you can have the best of both worlds by choosing a custom character. So, that's the difference between an origin character and a custom character in Baldur's Gate 3. I've been Luke Gould, thanks for watching, and check out thegamer.com for more.